Oh. Hi, I'm Ranger Cookie, and this is me. Me, a good me. Who is that me? Uh, I happen to be amateur artist Mark D. Chandler, once again from Manland. And Ranger, you happen to be here in State Line, Mississippi. Yeah, I came to visit another well, YouTuber. Alrighty. For chops, <laughs> chop shop. What is chop shop? Well, we're gonna find out what chop shop is. We, well, me and Donnie started it with the uh, bow light stove. We showed you a couple items that you could use with, with charging your phone in case you need emergency. So we're gonna see what these saw is all about. Well, what's what we got there? What we got there? What we got there? Well, we got the condor. I think I said that right. right? Con condor. Let me see. <laughs> Take my glasses off. C O R O N A, Corona. Corona. We got the Corona. We have uh, some unknown name brand saw, which is a straight blade. Then we have the short. That's mine, and I got that from the dollar store for one dollar. One dollar. <laughs> so basically, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about these saws and what we like about them, and what we don't like about them. So, uh, your saw that you use. What, what, what the hell you like or dislike about it? Well, I've noticed right off the bat, I've not used it a whole lot. I mean, it's not like I'm out there building a log cabin or anything. But I have taken this out there with me. Uh, as a matter of fact, the very first person ever used this was you. The day, like True. two days after I bought it. And, but we've taken it out there in the woods and we've actually used this thing from time to time. And I, I have to admit, for one dollar, it's not bad. However, I got a feeling that uh, the blade, the metal, I don't know what kind of metal this is made out of. I know this is all a plastic handle. What I don't like about it is I don't think that the metal is actually going to hold an edge. That, that's that's my thing. But like I say, for right now, it's, it's been holding up pretty decently. So, um, yeah, the curve in the blade, you think it's uh, good or bad? I feel like the curve in the blade is actually, from my experiences, I like the curve because of the natural motion as you're pulling. A lot of, I don't pull straight across like this. No. I never have. So I'm usually pulling at an at a angle. And when I do that, it, 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 it maximizes the pullability of your saw. Now look at it. It's really thick. That's a thick blade. Cord, it goes down size to the, thick, to the thinnest. This uh, con well, damn it. condor Corona. Corona is a little thinner than in hell. And I bit the hell out of it a couple of times. And we got this straight blade. This is my blade. I use it for my uh, bug out bag. I never use it, so I'm gonna give it a test. These two blades are sharp as hell. This one's been used a lot, so it's not gonna be that sharp. So we're gonna do a test. I want Manland to do a test with my Corona versus his blade. Okay, now. So we need little pieces of this big. And we need one stick as a, a time, which pick you one you for a time. I won't say this one right here. All right, we're gonna keep this one for tan. We're gonna, we're gonna cut some wood for a burner, and we're gonna do. Uh, he's gonna saw pieces, each That's piece easy. with each saw. All right, let's take a look. Now he's gonna be a judge for the his saw versus the other saw. And you got some oak here, don't you? Yeah, that's oak, so this it could be hard stuff. Hard stuff to cut through. I'm gonna try to do this non-stop so y'all can get an idea. Not bad. All right, bad. now bad. his is curved, so we gotta have a straight blade. Now cut another piece the same length and see if you like the straight blade. Oh, it starts a lot better right off the bat. Let me get my foot up here. Yeah. We can always switch to the other side. <laughs> get started right here. All right. Now y'all time it. See how long it takes them to cut one piece. Get away from the stump. I'm also helping him, so I should uh, back away just to see if he was alone out in the woods and you had to saw this piece alone. So I'm not going to help him, I want to aid him. 
This is part of Chop Shop to find out which blade works better for you and which one's more practical. Okay. All right. Finally. Right. All right. We got three pieces of equal value. We're gonna put that on the side. Now we're gonna grab this piece and we're gonna use the Corona. Okay. That's not quite as thick. Yeah. This is not thick as like the other two pieces, but. Now he's going to do a test. Now remember, I use this one a lot, so it might be a little duller than the rest of the blades. Now, what I like about it right on this, beside the bent blade, is the fact that it has a longer reach. It's actually taking out more material. So if I have a question, so if you was in a survival mode and you want to try to save your energy as much as possible, but cut the wood you need to survive, what saw would you probably pick out of all the, the saws? Right now it feels like the one that I'm using now is actually doing the better job. It feels better. Thinner blade. Yeah, that so we got actually the... took less work and I was actually tired on the third you know the third sewing. But it was less work. So basically the saw and I don't know about the weight. What do you think about the weight? Well, well for I know. compactability. Talk of, yeah. All right. no. Well, to be honest. Pick those out of two, which is the heaviest. Mine, mine seems to be a little bit heavier. Okay, even so. It's smaller of the two. Okay, trade the, to the heaviest and to the lightest that you think of. That's actually lighter. Okay, we'll try your blade. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely lighter. That's, so, that's, that's surprising. So we got this big long blade. I have a, uh, a, a Tom Kittlewood made me a pouch for it and I slide it into my vest. Y'all seen this on my vest. So now here's a question. You try to save energy with a longer blade to work out more than the shorter blade. You, you, it looks I, like you're using a lot it, of energy. It's, it's definitely a trade off because of what well, we're thinking about a bug out bag and you want something lightweight you want something small and compact and you're going to use this in an emergency but you're going to want this thing to actually perform for you all right we'll okay. see about them clothes well like i say there's not much difference between the long one and the two shorter versions i would have to say i i was kind of really impressed with this one that's cool all right well this is a chop shop on ranger kooky side um uh, we just doing a little interview about the uh, saws we have here. Me and Donnie did an interview with the full light and the energy source you can use to charge your phone up with. So Manland chooses the big, long, and light saw for survival. We, anything else? Any thoughts? My thoughts are this. Uh, well, you said you use you use this one here a lot, right? I use it a lot. Okay. I'm at this the main side. The fact saw I the use. blade is so thin and it did bend on you, that's something that you want to watch out for. Um, this is the dollar store version. I don't know if they had it reduced, but I did get it for an actual one dollar and then the tax. And so far, this has performed for every little thing I've ever used. You know, used it for. Yeah. I'm not a major person to go out there and do a lot of sawing, sawing and hacking. I'm a camper, which includes a lot of firewood, but to be perfectly honest, in my experience, what I'm used to, I actually find a lot of the debris and stuff that's on the ground, and usually just break it up my, my, my knee or something like that. But I've had, I've had to use this saw that I've had with me a few times before. Um, to be honest, I would much rather have a saw than an ax any day of the week when it comes to camping. Cut. Okay. action. So... Your final thoughts would be using a saw more than an axe or a machete. I'll probably move my next uh, chop, uh, chop chop is a machete. See which one you like the most. That's right. Uh, to me, a saw is a very value, very necessary, very valuable piece of equipment or gear to have in your backpack. Uh, it depends on what kind of money you have at the time and how much you're going to want to spend later on. You know when you have that extra money to spend but for now get, definitely get you a saw the number one thing you're going to want in your backpack to start out with in a survival bug out type of situation is more or less a good knife but a knife a saw man a saw just makes it so much better for you when it comes to processing your wood if you'll, if you'll notice <coughs> ranger's got a lot of these uh pieces of oak that he brought with him and Thank you, Donnie. They're, they're, they're too long to actually use in the bio light. 
Yep. Now, they, they're the perfect size for a campfire. But can you see trying to convert this to something that size with just a knife? Now, yeah, you can get away with an axe, but with an axe, you got a lot of chopping to do. A lot and of And you're chopping. losing, when the, the chips fly out, you're losing a lot of good. Cut the wood down to size, then use behind the scenes. <laughs> then use your knife to baton it down even smaller. To get what you need to make it appropriate for what's going to work for you. That's what basically we're going to be doing next is uh, batoning this with, uh, with, uh, Oh. With the, <laughs> <laughs> this is a special knife. It's going around town. We've got names all over it. Tell them more about it. This is the Glock from around the world. Let's see, Glock around the world. All right, and it started by gear knife. Now the person who had it before me was actually Arm Road, and this is the very first. This is Chris, also traveling around the world. We got they two happened, they both showed up at my home at the exact same time. Now that is a YouTube first. And this is going to be a secret video with Chris watching and enjoying the show. Ain't that right? Yes, indeed. Hey, that's Larry. Oh, well. <laughs> How about we use Jerry? Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, Chris as Jerry, or Jerry playing Chris. Yes, indeed. Something like that. All right, well, we're going to... Uh, Call this a chop shop. So, what else you have uh, recommended for saws? You you see any other saws that might be better than the ones we have here? I've seen you? some on YouTube there that I do believe that might actually be very useful. However, it gets into what I consider the pocketbook. You know, when it gets down into the pocketbook, whether you can afford the best or not, that may not necessarily be the best thing to go for you. You need to go ahead and get the equipment as fast as you can. Get something that's kind of decent. In this case, dollar store saw. Uh, now, I don't know if it was actually more than a dollar when it was there, brand new. I found this, bought it for a dollar. It might have been reduced. I don't know. Always look for good deals out there. It feels solid. It feels like good quality or decent quality, but it is a plastic handle. And my fear, like Ranger was at one time, yeah, that this, little, this little plastic deal yeah. here may eventually break. It may fail. I'm not sure. But it's solid. Now, but, but I wouldn't sit there and try to drill no nails with it or anything. Yeah. I mean, the quality of... Uh, qu quality of... Quality. Uh, no, quality of... Quantity? Uh, no, you got it right. I got it right. Okay. Quality of... Quality... Ah, damn it. Whatever the word I'm looking for. The the making of the, uh, of the saws and how they're made with their safety device is more important than mm -hmm. anything else. So safety's involved too. Make sure when I first bought this thing, I had a, a leather glove and I just skipped myself. I'm talking about I cut through the leather glove into my skin and I bled everywhere. So yeah. <laughs> you better be careful. That'd be a, that'd be a vampire horror moment. Um, um, yeah, that. <laughs> so now we're going to leave you with a uh, chop shop and to the next video. <laughs> What's the next video going to be about? Well, and who's going to channel? Both? I think what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to end up moving over to the Manland channel on this shopping test with the Glock here because I want to process and pecan some wood to put in that there biolite stove. And Chris is coming along on my side. Hey, that right, Chris? Oh, yeah, let's go. All right. I want to sum it up this uh, at the Chop Shop with the Ranger Cookie Show. Uh, see you next video. I might be going to Gruffy. So, Gruffy, be ready and bring out your machete. Until next time, this is amateur artist Martin D. Chandler once again from Manland. And Ranger Cookie from wherever he goes. <laughs> Y'all take them easy and take them cares. <laughs> Damn you, boy! Get